mom is respite. <laughs> Well, and it doesn't have to be a day. It can be an hour. Well, how many times have we been at the, the, the market, right? And yeah. you're by yourself, and you're just like, oh, it's like better than Hawaii. Oh, yeah. You're, you're going up the aisle, I and you're taking a long time. Like, oh. what does the ingredient list say on this? I'm looking at the shave cream for men. I'm looking, I'm looking at the, magazine. the elderly care products. <laughs> I don't care. I'm reading because, Car and Driver. I'm sauntering. It's your, it's your time, yeah. you know? And I'm like... When the so I'm like on Social Security Day when all the old people go through the grocery store. That's me I don't, when I don't have the kids. Yeah. I, slowly. And you talk to everybody. Hi, oh, how are you? It's like old home week. Absolutely. Yes. And I yep. think if you're getting that feeling and you're going to the market, that means and you're getting excited about right. it, which is good. Yeah. That means you should probably give yourself a little bit extra time. I do find somewhere when else. you hunker down in the in the freezer section and they ask you to leave when the store is closing, you've probably overstayed your your limits a little bit. <laughs> When I walk into the store holding a sweater in July, they're like, uh oh, Kim, you got half an hour and you're out of here. <laughs> the lights turn off and <laughs> go you're home like, with your no. go home to your family. <laughs> and I think that all of us have experienced Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Now you, I know you're married. I am. And I, am. I, I don't know if the last statistic I read, I think it was either mm, yeah. eighty five or ninety, it could be even right, higher of right. families with children aren't married. What's your secret? I hear that. I don't know I don't know that anybody's ever proven the accuracy of the special ed and divorce statistics. Yeah. Um what is our secret? I talk a lot about that. I even talk about our sex life in the book. There's a whole mm -hmm. chapter on it. I remember and, reading it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say no more. <laughs> you have to read it. <laughs> uh, and uh, what is our secret? Well, first off, my husband is Mark, and uh, we come from very similar backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And my husband is a man. M-A-N. Period. End of story. We are his family. He loves his girls. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not what I bargained for. It's not what he bargained for. But he is a loyal adult. Mm. I can't think of another way to put it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's with them for a couple of days. Uh, he, he can do anything he needs to do with them, from girly stuff that comes once a month. He has mastered that. He may be, Gosh, I wow. think I put in the book, he's the only man who can tell the front from the back of a skateboard-sized maxi pad. And he can. <laughs> you know, he even knows what to do with the wings. Wow. <laughs> when you have girls, what are you going to do? I mean, yeah. the, for those of you who have boys, mm -hmm. I don't know about the boy things. So... Moms have been managing their special needs sons, boy things, mm -hmm. for a long time, and dads have to step up for their girls. So well, until he does. I was reading about you and read the book, I yep. never thought of a dad having to do that. Like it just never. I guess because I don't have a daughter. Yep. And I'm not a man. Right. It never entered my mind mm -hmm. that that was sure. taking place. You know. And, and it does take place. The kids get older. There are different stages that they're mm -hmm. going to go through. So he and I have had to grow and adapt, and we've had good times and bad times. Uh, autism is very expensive, as you've pointed mm -hmm. out. It wiped us out financially. He lost his job for almost two years. We sold everything we owned. We sold our house. We moved from Cleveland, Ohio to Massachusetts. We moved in with my mom and dad mm -hmm. and three kids with autism. We were like Ringling Brothers descending wow. on the house I grew up in. It was agony, mm -hmm. but we did it. Mm -hmm. We had we didn't really have a choice. So and where are you we, today? we figured it out. Now we live in Connecticut. Uh -huh. We live in Connecticut. and uh, At a mom and dad's house. Out of mom and dad's house. So, you know, it was a great year for the kids. They yeah. really got to know their grandparents. And they got to be close It to worked out okay. Yeah. It was not... And more help for you as well. It was great. Yeah. It, it, and they in understood a in a totally way. different way, though, too. Yeah. It wasn't just grandma and grandpa coming over and grandma and grandpa leaving. Right. It, and it's so different. Even if they even came for a couple of days, to actually live it day in and day, day in out. and day out. Mm -hmm. It gave them a great understanding of the kids. And now, you know, Bella, who is preverbal, she has a couple of words. When my dad, my dad's elderly, he'll be 89 this, uh, oh. soon. And um, he walks into the house, and she just goes bonkers. Mm. It's, it, 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 it would melt your heart. She jumps up and down, and she claps, and she smiles, and she runs to him. Mm. And you can't replace that. No. So it's all meant to be. So You know, they always yeah. talk about the causes in the future. I know. You know? Even the not-so-good stuff. Yeah, and it, so. it brought you to where you are. It does. Yeah. You know, is that, that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. They keep so, saying like, that, right? Check me out. So strong. I should have some serious... Couldn't it be a little weak? <laughs> I'm glad I go to the gym then. <laughs> now, what, what was, um, how long did it take you to write the book? Uh, let's see. It took me about seven months to write the book. Wow, oh, that's about it. About seven months, yep. Wow. And when you, did you just get on and it just came Well, when you? you write a nonfiction book, you write a proposal. So my agent, I wrote a proposal, and my agent presented it to publishers, and then Skyhorse bought the book. And so I had the outline, I had the chapters, I knew mm -hmm. what the chapters were going to be. The hard part was really sitting down and going back getting out the pediatric book, getting out the baby book that I slammed shut at one point in tears and said, I'm, I'm never filling this out again, you know, because I can't get past this stage. You know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything but first words. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it, it breaks your heart. I remember those um, days. So the hard part was going back to their medical records and mm -hmm. just remembering all of the hurt that goes along with the diagnosis when you don't get 
the help and the support mm -hmm. that that you need or that you that you would have expected, but then you come to learn just doesn't exist mm -hmm. in the mainstream medical world for autism. And so now the, your book is in all the stores. It's in all the stores. It's on Amazon. It's on Kindle, so you can have it for an e-reader. And in the fall, the paperback version is coming out. Very great. So we've added some content to it. And, uh, well, and I love the I, pink is my favorite color, so I love it. a great color? I love the color. Thank I, you. Yeah, it's very pink. I, I just love it. It's a very pink book. And so, and how do people stay connected with you? Do you have a place for them? Oh, do, how do they stay connected to me? <laughs> do you want them to stay I connected? I absolutely do. Yeah, we are a family. Absolutely. I always say that we are definitely a family. I'm, yeah. I'm at a lot of places. I'm on Facebook mm -hmm. at All I Can Handle. I'm no Mother Teresa. Mm -hmm. And I'm on Twitter at Kim Stagliano. And I run ageofautism.com, which is a website with daily news from inside the autism epidemic. And I highly recommend uh, that you come into ageofautism.com and read us every day. Mark us in your favorites. Our sponsors are there, so you can get right into immediate help. You learn about, we have contests and giveaways, and it's, it's a real community mm -hmm. of like-minded like -minded families uh, who are treating the children's autism from the inside out, from the outside in, mm -hmm. uh, and working to help other families at the same time. So do come and see us. And if you Google me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm elsewhere as well. Now, are you thinking of writing another book? I am. Yeah. I am. I have a couple in my head. Uh, I'm, I'm toying with something, uh, writing a proposal about aging out, mm -hmm. about the next phase for families that will come of when the children get through school mm -hmm. and maybe following some families and see what their, their experiences have been so far so that we can plan for a better experience for those learning, like, learning even like from, mine, who, you yeah. know, even like Mia, who is no, not you know, aging out, comes at 22. When you hit 22, you're no longer part of the school system. You're part of the statewide system for special needs. And there really isn't much in place for autism right now because this epidemic is just, it just keeps growing. reaching yeah. that point. Yeah. So I think there's an important book that I have to find the, I have to find out how to make it readable and palatable and enjoyable mm -hmm. on it. I think on I think what is even a tougher topic mm -hmm. because when I when I think about you know the girls becoming women women you know over yeah. 21 I get I get apple you know I, yeah. my heart my heart races it's yeah. terrifying yes. uh, but it's going to happen so yeah. I'd best deal with it yeah. and if I can write something that can help other families will help prepare. you too because you'll be learning as yeah. you're writing yep yeah. Is writing for you kind of an escape at times It is definitely uh, I like to write when I'm really angry my best writing comes out when I'm completely ticked off about something. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So it's oh, therapeutic. Yeah. <laughs> it is therapeutic. So afterwards, you're like, when you're done, is it just like, oh, it was like the best workout it's ever? It's like empty ice at the bottom of the cocktail glass. Oh, very good. I say workout. You say cocktail. <laughs> but, you know, I was thinking glass of wine, and I thought, well. <laughs> well, you know, I started kickboxing. I started in March, and I Did kickbox you? five or six times a week. And I have to say, there's something very therapeutic about hitting and punching and kicking in a controlled <laughs> environment, mind you. And so your husband and you are doing good then, right? <laughs> yes, as long as I go for my hour a day outside of the house. What is, um, what is like, I guess, a typical t uh, date night for you and your husband? Uh, we've always had babysitters. Okay. So we still have a good group of, you know, we've always had older babysitters. Mm -hmm. Even when the kids were young, you could have a younger person. But typically our sitters are college age or older. Mm -hmm. And we go out for dinner all the time. Go to a movie, go for dinner. Just like what everybody else does. Yeah, we come home at 10 o'clock, like most people my age, and the sitters giggle, and then they go out and party. <laughs> so, <laughs> so and you made it work. And how long have you guys been married? It'll be 20 years. Congratulations. 20 years this year. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. I know, a long time. And now for the viewers out there that are watching right now, because we've talked about a lot, mm -hmm. what's the very first step, other than, you know, obviously get your book. <laughs> if you have <laughs> not done that. I'm sure there's a couple of steps before well, that. Well, you know what I love about your book, though, is that it is humorous. And so, very. like I said, I did laugh. I did cry. Yep. And, and I related. And I think that's so important because... There's so many books out there that are great, but it's all about, you know, the doctor's, you, sure. know, you know, way of thinking. So what would be your first step that you'd be telling them to do? After a diagnosis? Uh -huh. hmm. uh, give yourself a hug. Mm -hmm. Keep your hope. And I would say the best thing you can always remember is to trust your own instincts. Because nobody knows your child like you do. Nobody loves your child like you do. And you are absolutely your child's best therapist, teacher. It doesn't mean you have to do everything. But if you feel as though someone is giving you advice that's not right for your child, just start off trusting your instincts. And Absolutely. then I think that will help guide you. Uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes. You know, no parent raises their children perfectly, whether they're road scholar kids or kids with special needs of any sort. Uh, forgive yourself if you make a mistake and, and move on. But really having the confidence to say yes or no to something, I think will put you in a good position to, mm -hmm. to manage all of the options that are available for autism. I absolutely agree. I think that uh, the air, air instincts are so yep. important. And if it doesn't make sense, don't do anything for a couple of days. Right. And then wake up and see where it goes. Mm -hmm. 
um, because what, what works for one girlfriend may not work, you know, for you just even yeah. with your three daughters. Sure. Each doesn't work. Well, I am so grateful that you took time you. to come out here and talk with us. My and pleasure. Again, love your book. Thank you. And for all of you guys out there, if you guys have an idea for a show or you want to be on the show, you can email us at ksg at autismapproved.com. Also, if you want to stay connected with us, you can follow us on Twitter at KSelbyGonzalez or follow us on Facebook at Kristen Selby Gonzalez. So um, I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Enzymetica, and I'd like to thank all of you guys for allowing us to bring hope into your homes this week. So until next time, everyone, bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us for Autism Approved with Kristen Selby Gonzalez. Please join us next week for another episode brought to you by Enza Medica.